Coach, oh, big time, big time. But uh, I told you before the game, if we were going to win this game, our bench was going to have to help us because we were very tired. Uh, our, our first unit to tonight just didn't have any juice at all. And uh, we, you know, we were down there in that first uh, quarter, got it to six at the end of the quarter. Um, and then our second unit was, was fantastic. Spencer, uh, uh, Swaggy, uh, uh, and uh, Royale, and who am I missing? Somebody else. But uh, our, our, that, that was the difference in the game. And that's, that's what we're going to have to do because uh, we have 22 back-to-backs this year. And so we're going to have to have depth. Doug, also in the fourth, like at the end of the third, that could be a momentum yeah. changer. And Big they time. answered the bell again, though. They did. I, I just I just keep preaching to them. You know, we are, you know, we're trying to grow as a team and we're trying to win at the same time. So it's pretty amazing, uh, D. I'm thrilled. 3 0 road trip. Uh, the New Orleans that first half, you know, 14 turnovers. Looked like we could do nothing. I found a way to win that game. They played a terrific game last night in Boston. And they came back in here tonight. And, uh, you know, they had all the momentum in the world. We made some key shots to keep them at bay. Darrell hit a couple. Uh, Swaggy hit one, uh, and and uh, and we were able to fight through it. Can you just talk about what Evan does on the glass? Because when you had that smaller line yeah. around there, I mean, Bardnani is not known to go to the glass, but he still has to get the, yeah. get those rebounds. Well, we count on Evan. I mean, he's uh, you know, arguably, I think maybe he and probably Paul George from Indiana probably are the best rebounding guards at their positions. He got 12 for us again tonight, and uh, he helped us win this game, making two field goals. And that's what I said to him. There's going to be many nights where I'm not going to look at what your points are or anything like that, but what are you doing in the other phases? I thought he worked hard. Uh, DeRozan was uh, 6 for 17, you know. And, uh, you know, the one thing is I, I told our guys, we, we've got to do a better job closing out games. We gave him four three-point shots, made two bad fouls. Uh, you're in a lead like that. You can't stop the clock. Uh, you got to run guys off the three-point line. But it's all a continual work uh, in progress for us. Uh, a lot of times guys look up. It's an 18-point game. It's over. And we've got to we've got to be better that we don't we don't play the score coming down the stretch. Defensively, with a couple of exceptions this year, you guys have been really good. Yeah, you yeah. Well, they're... you know, uh, New York cracked us twice, yeah. but I mean they've done that to everybody. You know, they uh, uh, our, our defense has been good. Uh, Michael Curry is going to be upset tonight with the lapses we had defensively, giving up the three point shots. I think they had eight in the second half, uh, but I think a lot of that was fatigue. You know, and we just kept trying to drag them through the game. Um, this is an easy game to lose. You know, uh, uh, Toronto have been waiting here for us. Uh, we had that tough game last night. We're playing a little shorthanded with no Jay Rich, uh, which is 30 minutes out of our lineup, one of our better perimeter guys. And we found a way to win three games, and that's very, very encouraging. You think it feel like you guys are close to where you want to be defensively? Be oh, we got, we got a long way to go. We got a long way to go. But uh, the, the thing we're starting to do is get connected. You know, it takes time. Uh, my first year uh, here in, in, in uh, Philadelphia, we started out 3-13. and 13. You know, and one of the things that was really killing us was we were fouling too much and we were turning the ball over. And now we, we don't foul much. Uh, we knew that Toronto was a team that fouled a lot, and so we wanted to make sure we got to the free throw line. Uh, still, our turnovers are a problem. Uh, last year we set a record uh, in the history of the NBA for fewest turnovers in a season. Right now we're still not doing a good job of that. We'll play well for a half. Uh, we had one assist, uh, excuse me, one turnover. Uh, at the end, in the second half of the New Orleans game, we had 14 in the first half. Last night against Boston, we had five in the first half, 11 in the second. And I just told them we have not put a game together yet where we've taken care of the ball for 48 minutes. And that's a, that's a big thing with me. I just don't think you're ever going to win big if you turn the ball over. Those live ball turnovers kill you.